Okay, well, good morning. Um, just touching base again. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm forever struggling, aren't I? Um, not, not in a serious way, but really in a frustrating way. Um, work is driving me nuts, and, and I think mostly it's because I'm just bored out of my mind, and I think boredom just is really not good because I don't know once you're not in the role in the you know in the swing of things and moving and going and doing and getting all these things done you kind of lose interest you know it's um, for me it's like as long as I'm moving and going and doing I'm I'm pretty good it takes a lot for me to lose interest I have to be pretty damn bored and um, I no, I don't it's really easy for me to get bored actually <laughs> take that back but yeah I am yeah, very struggling and I have a student who I am trying to work with and um, he's doing programming and um, this is the software that I've known for 25 years more than 25 years and I've taught it to 50 60 different clients I've implemented it on 20 clients I've <clears throat> implemented huge modifications on several clients. I've, I've come up with those. I've um, troubleshoot. I was the top support person um, as far as being able to um, answer questions quickly and understand it and troubleshoot things. And so, I mean, and, and I don't brag on myself very often. You know, I really don't. But I am good at this shit, and and I should be. Um, I'm not saying it's unusually good. I'm good because I've done it a long time and actually troubleshooting is my forte and implementing um, fixing issues is another one of the things I do well you know I'm a good um, go, okay how we're gonna how are we gonna make this work type person and um, I've asked him from the very beginning back in March to um, go over this one document and if he would have gone over it, it would have taken him a few hours uh, this was a long time ago and I know there's been times he's been bored so um and he hasn't gone over it now we're doing a modification that he needs some information from there and I told him to review it and he argued with me that he didn't need to review it and I'm about done with it um talk about disrespectful um I you know I've I've been telling him to do that and I, I'm really tired of him disrespecting me and um I haven't hired there to specifically work with this person and I guess if I choose not to work with him, then I need to find another job because I, I can't. I can't do it anymore. I can't be so disrespected. <laughs> um, you know, I'm trying to work as a team here, but he's putting me in a position where I have to be an ass. And I know he probably thinks I'm an ass, but it's like, you don't do what I say. And I've told him, I said, I can't tell you how many times I've told you to do that. And you haven't done it. Well, I don't see how it's going to help me. Well, it's going to help you. How do you learn the software if you're not looking at the technical pieces of it? And while those aren't technical programming pieces, they are technical setup pieces. And if those flags are set different ways, the system's going to work a whole nother way. So if you're not aware of them when you're doing program changes to different areas, it's distribution. It's an ERP system. It's not like, it's, it's not Quicken. You know, <laughs> you need to know these things because if I go in and you make this modification and I change the flag, I'm going to, it's not going to work. And I'm going to tell you what, when I start testing his shit, he's going to get called on it because I'm going to change the flags every single way I can and make sure I can make it fail because I'm good at that too. And, um, you know, I'm one of those users that always can make something fail because <laughs> I used to be a tester. So, um, anyway, I'm frustrated and it's really hard for me to go to work. And I'm afraid to talk to my boss because I'm afraid I'll quit and I can't afford to quit. I, I may ask for less hours or something because um, I'm about done, at least temporarily, until I can get my shit together. <laughs> anyway, um, as long as I can keep my benefits, right? That's the only thing I care about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just not good right now. Not good at all. I hate that when I don't want to do something so badly and I have to do it. Ugh. You know, I'm, I'm, 
I'm rebellious, but usually in a rebelliously smart way. Um, you know, I'll, I'll skirt, skirt the rules. I'll, I'll do those things, but usually smartly. <laughs> but So I can't just quit. I did that before, and that didn't work, really work out too well. So, um, and I make good money. You know, I really do make good money for what I do all day. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, uh, just I had to, I had to vent. But uh, um, which actually, because of that, you know, that's where I think the rest of the depression starts coming from. So it's I'm back in this vicious cycle. Um, when you're frustrated with what you're doing and the only thing you have to do is not enjoyable at all, then you wonder what you're living for, you know? <laughs> that sucks. So, um, yeah, rough time. I'll be okay, but um, rough time. <laughs>